Wanda Schiebinger, the Heinz Professor of History of Science at Stanford University and founding director of Gendered Innovations in Science, Health and Medicine, Engineering, and Environment. Nineteen eighty nine was a momentous year. I gave birth to my first child, my first book, and witnessed the fall of the Berlin Wall. My research breaks the wall to harness the creative power of sex and gender analysis for discovery. Does considering this analysis take research in new directions? Does it add valuable dimensions to research? The goal of gendered innovations is to promote scientific excellence, environmental sustainability, and social equity. Founded in 2009, our website has enjoyed nearly 2 million users across 185 countries. Our 40 case studies treat, for example, the gendering of social robots. Does meeting user expectation enhance human-robot collaboration? We treat osteoporosis research in men. Why have diagnoses and treatments lagged? We look at marine science. 99% of turtles on the Great Barrier Reef are female. That's unsustainable. What can we do? Clearly, doing research wrong costs lives and money. To match the global reach of science and technology, Gendered Innovations develops through large international collaborations involving the European Commission, the U.S. National Science Foundation, and Silicon Valley leaders. We've now expanded into South Africa, Latin America, and East Asia, where Gendered Innovation Research Centers have been established in Japan and South Korea. In addition to our intellectual work, we do policy work across three foundational pillars of science infrastructure. We work with numerous funding agencies to develop policies supporting sex and gender analysis. The idea is that if taxpayer money funds science, the results should work for everyone across the whole of society. The second pillar, peer-reviewed journals, have developed editorial policies for sex and gender analysis. Since 2015, Gendered Innovations has curated a list of these policies that might serve as models for other journals. The idea is that journals should publish only the very best research. The third pillar, universities, trains future generations of scientists, the workforce for tomorrow. Stanford does not serve Silicon Valley well when we fail to prepare students to understand the cultural impacts of their products. When we at universities do our job right, there will be no need for gendered innovations. This is my goal for the future, to create science and technology that works for everyone. Music